All right, so today we're going to be doing an air filter change, and we're going to change the oil in this 2011 Chevy Impala, and I'm going to show you how. I'm just going to hit the basics. Uh, I've done other oil filter changes and oil changes and air filter changes on this channel. Um, the process is similar. I'm just going to show you where everything is on this car. So right here we have the air filter, and I'll show you how to change that. Uh, over there we have where we're going to pour in the oil and the oil filter is just in there I'm trying to get you guys a better shot right there you see the oil filter it's actually hanging down from the engine um, so it's, it's actually pointing down, just so you guys can get a reference. All right, and that's all we're gonna do to dive to this car. Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some simple work on this 2011 Chevy Impala. So right now we're going to change the air filter. And to do that, all you got to do is remove these two clips. And then flip them back over. And there you go. Now the next step you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take uh, part of this housing out. And you're going to start by removing this clip or at least just loosen it so you're able to slide this over and we'll do that now. What you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver loosen it up flip it wiggle the hose out you might need two hands for this. Alright, with the hose out of the way you just lift this part off be careful with the wires for the mass flow air sensor. And then you remove the filter. You inspect the filter. And then you go ahead and put the new filter in. Here's the new air filter, the old air filter. You can see this is very white. This is somewhat dirty. You don't really have to change it, but it's recommended you change it with every oil change. Um, so you might as well just go ahead and do it. The car actually does work a little bit better. You know, you might get one horsepower more with the clean air filter, maybe like 0.5 horsepower more, but either way, we're changing it on this car. It's recommended that you do, so we're going to do it, and we're just going to toss the old one out, put the new one back in. And with the new one in, well, and with the new one in, we're just going to do everything in reverse. And just like that, in a matter of about five minutes, you've done the air filter change. Now next to the oil. Now the cool thing about the Chevy Impala, or at least I think it's cool, is look at all this extra bracing. It has one on each side and it has some extra bracing on the bottom. I'll show you guys that. I don't know if it's standard in every Impala, or maybe this may be a police package one. I don't know, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. But this, look at this extra bracing. This is what I mean by, by that. 
see all this? This is pretty awesome in my opinion. If every Chevy Impala has this, that's pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure this is maybe a, a reclaimed police vehicle. Or maybe just came with the police package. Um, by reclaimed, I mean a retired police vehicle. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's aluminum. Looks like it's aluminum, but that's that's pretty pretty sick. So this this car is definitely made to to deal with impacts and is look at that. It surrounds it's like a giant metal box that surrounds the engine and the transmission and all that stuff. Sorry guys, I didn't show you guys where the uh, the oil plug is. Let me get back underneath the car. Alright, so right here. Um, right there. That's the oil plug. So you're just going to unscrew this and the oil is going to come out. And this is a 15 millim millimeter bolt, just in case you guys needed to know that. And as always, I'll link everything I use in the description below, just to make it easier on you guys and help you guys out. As I have the oil um, draining from the car, I want to take a moment and talk to you guys about oil filters. So this is the old oil filter that was in the car. and the position I have it in is how it is in the car. It points down. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. Maybe to protect it. Um, the cool extra bracing that Chevy has done actually makes this very difficult to remove even with the right tools. So to get around that, I have bought this K&N filter. No, I'm not sponsored by K&N filter. But I should be. Um, I like their products and all that stuff. But they actually have come up with this pretty cool uh, welded on nut right here. And besides that, which makes it so much easier to remove and install. Because as you see here, there's, there's nothing. So besides having to go buy a special tool to remove and install this oil filter, you can just get one of these K&N brand filters. And you get the right socket, which is a one inch socket. Uh, yes, that's fairly big and maybe not common, uh, but it probably costs a lot less than, than buying the removal tool for the oil filters. Um, but if you have a set like this, which is a mechanic set, you definitely have a one inch um, socket. If you don't have a one inch socket, you can use an adjustable wrench and really anything that can just hook on to this welded on nut here. The other cool thing that comes with this K&N filter is it comes with the sticker. Uh, that's just to remind you of when you change the oil and when the oil needs to be changed or at what mileage it needs to be changed. So definitely for the Chevy Impala, I would use one of these because to remove it as it's positioned like so is just, is just a pain. All right, with everything drained, now we're just gonna go ahead and pour the new oil and that'll finish our, I guess, tutorial of how to change your oil and air filter and oil filter and a 2011 Chevy Impala. So for this vehicle, we're going to use uh, 5W30, that's what's recommended, and this vehicle takes about 4 quarts. Alright, so I grabbed the wrong oil. Um, what we're going to put into it is still 5W30, but we're going to go with this Pennzoil Platinum High Mileage, fully synthetic. Um, this vehicle is over 100,000 miles, so this would be ideal for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the oil in. 
So to make sure that the oil is at the proper level, we're going to use this dipstick and measure it. So I believe in this case, each of these little dots represents a quart. So we're going to want to, of course, be at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that. All right. So I measured it, and as you see, it's perfect. It's spot on right there. You see, you guys can tell the extra sheen from the oil. What I like to do is I like to check it at least three times just to make sure I'm right. So I'm going to do that. All right, so lastly, to finish up the oil change, you're going to want to reset the computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in, and you're going to hit this car button right here. And what that does is it cycles through all these sensors. So like oil life, units, tire pressure, and it does a tire pressure for each tire. So what you're gonna do is again, hit the car button. That would say zero, or um, I'm sorry guys, I actually forgot to film this. But it would say zero, like in the case of this car or whatever uh, percentage that it might be. And all you're gonna do is just hold on to the car button. So you're gonna cycle through, hold on. You're gonna hold on to it when you cycle through. And then it's gonna reset to 100. So I'll see if I can't film both. So again, you cycle through, it'll turn off. The first option is going to be the oil life. So you're going to press that and then hold on to it. And then that'll pop up and then it'll reset to 100. All right, guys. Well, I hope you find this video helpful. And as, al and as always, if you find any of my videos helpful, if you like the content, uh, please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and you'll be up to date with all my latest videos. So I'll see you next week. And you